Hi, I'm Mandy Moore. Hi, I'm Katie Lowe's. And I have been a proud SAG After member since 1999. I too am a SAG After member, and I'm about to take out my uh, phone to look at <laughs> how long that has been that I've been in SAG After. But look I should know this. It's been a really long time. Please hold. Member since 2004. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, Here we are. obviously, this is day three of the actor strike but yes. how are you guys feeling first and foremost about the, the core issues um not feeling great not feeling like there's a tremendous momentum um but that's why we're out here feeling like this collective energy standing shoulder to shoulder with our fellow brothers and sisters in sag and uh the writers yeah. and um yeah just Feeling like, like we're making some noise yeah, that we exactly. would like to be heard, although it doesn't it can be depressing at times. We're holding each other up. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And one of the central things that has be, one of the central narratives that has emerged is talk about the, the residuals. Mandy, Katie, yeah. you guys have both been on hit broadcast shows, but can you speak a little bit about? <laughs> we were just saying we didn't really get to watch each other's shows because we were on at the same time. <laughs> but we will. We will. We will. But when you're working the 80 hours at the same time, I didn't get to see much of this. But I heard it was amazing. But she was on it, which is how we know oh, each yes. other. Yes, we were on last season. Um, yeah, the residual issue is a huge issue. I mean, we're in incredibly fortunate positions as as working actors and having been on shows that found, uh, you know, tremendous success in one way or another. Um, but the fact that, you know, we were on these shows and that many actors in our position for years, years uh, before, before us, um, uh, were able to live off of residuals, or at least pay their bills off of residuals. And definitely got them through leaner years, yeah. you know, if there were some years that were harder than others, you were at least being paid from your face being shown when it was re-aired. But now that both of our shows, um, Scandal went from Netflix to Hulu. Ours is on Hulu. And to be completely honest, we, I don't see No much. residuals, yeah. No residuals for Scandal and This Is Us. Yeah. Very, for streaming. Very, 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 tiny, very, tiny, like very 81 tiny. cent check. Yeah. You have, Mandy, you've gotten an 81 cent check for residuals from This Is Us. I was talking to my business manager who said he has received a, a residual for a penny and two pennies. The postage costs more than that. It, correct. Yeah. So you have to like let them add up for a while before you go deposit Before you deposit them, them, them because you, yeah, it needs to be something substantial. It's worth driving. Yeah, I mean, for. there's a tiny amount. Whereas again, if you are someone who's been fortunate enough in our positions to do 120 plus episodes of a successful show. In previous years, 10, 15, 20 years ago, that re-airing would be the thing that could sustain you on years where, yeah. you know what, I did this smaller project or I wanted to go do a play or something like or that. You had, you kid, or you had kids. Or you yeah, had you have kids family. and you have a family to provide for and that is just not, it's not the an reality anymore. anymore. The entire model has changed. And we need a contract that reflects that. I think that's what we're out here fighting for. And fighting for our fellow union members who have to make $27,000 a year to qualify for health insurance. And again, when you take the residual issue off Oh, the there's table, no shot. I think there's just no something shot. Something like 87% of members don't, don't qualify for health insurance. And they're not able to cross that threshold. And so that's why we're out here with these signs. Thank you, guys. Come on.